Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru app. Daniel asks a really interesting one, which we get lots of comments about on the course vlogs about how we tee the ball up. Let's get stuck in. So question here from Daniel, world boy Dan, signs off, word, sorry, word boy Dan. Uh, Mark, love the videos, thank you. I've noticed that you and your comrades will sometimes, before teeing off with an iron, whack the grass on the tee box before you set the ball down. I assume you are creating a natural bump in the grass to prop the ball on instead of using an actual tee. Can you explain what you're doing? Word, word boy Dan. Interesting sign off there. Thank you. Um, we are promoting just a nicer uh, little knocked up sit up lie. Um, it's, there's a few reasons we do it. I can't speak for my comrades, but I'm sure it's the same reasons. Can't be bothered. This here just sounds bad. Can't be bothered to take a, a uh, tee out of my pocket and bend down and tee it up. I can just knock it down and kind of place it on and put it on feels easier. Um, I like hitting irons. It's often with an iron or a rescue. Free wood, rescue irons. I actually enjoy hitting them off the deck. I don't feel like I need to use a tee. I don't want to use a tee. I prefer to interact with the feeling of the ground a bit more. I don't want the ball too far off the ground because it's only a tiniest little knock up and sometimes I won't even knock it up, just put it on a nice bit of grass. When we do this in the course logs, you get many comments from people stating that Jack Nicholas, if you can use a tee, use it, you know, why take that advantage away? Which is interesting because I can't believe that Jack Nicholas has never used not a tee in his life. Um, it's such a sweeping statement that everyone's hanging on to still. Um, if we hit the ball what we feel better and closer from that lie, then we're going to do that. Why would we not do that? We hit it better from there. Um, we feel better from there. When I hit a ball, I'm not interacting with the turf before the ball, I'm hitting the ground, then the ball is what I'm feeling. So it actually makes no difference. Apart from it feels better to me. Does that make sense? So there's no right or wrongs with this. Definitely use a tee if you want to. There's, I'm not saying I would always really, to be honest with you, unless you're a good striker, like me and my comrades, <laughs> um, definitely tee it up, it's a good idea. But I just don't feel like I need to, where there's sometimes where I want to, because I feel like I maybe have a bit more confidence, or want to hit a different shot, and I feel I can do, I can move the path of the club around in the face if I have it higher, lower tee kind of thing. Um, so we're knocking a bit of tee up, like you say, just to give ourselves a good lie. Definitely gets a lot of comments that one, it's interesting. And obviously we knock a bit of tea up and people mention about the greenkeepers, but then we take a divot so it's all gone afterwards. Um, to make no difference, we're not ruining the tea in any way. So we're knocking the tea up, putting the ball on a nice light and hitting it. I like hitting it off the ground, I feel more comfortable. I practice predominantly off the ground, so it makes more sense just to hit it off the ground with certain clubs. Thanks for the question, hope that helps. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.